back to Arc Tutorials. This is Bootstrap 5 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, I covered about Bootstrap Position Utility class and its variants. Today we are going to learn about a very very important uh, functionality or I would say feature which allows us to place borders around different elements. More often than not you would use border on a daily basis uh, on some or the other element may maybe it's a div span or an image etc bootstrap supports a wonderful and lot of utility classes with border and we can do a lot of variations almost without writing any css code we will learn all about it in today's episode let's get started this is part 39 of the bootstrap 5 full tutorial playlist i have i have planned 40 tutorials but i think i'll shoot over it which is good so make sure that you check out the entire playlist to learn and master Bootstrap 5 with me. I have covered everything from ground zero to advanced topic. We have done a lot of live projects. I'll continue doing some live projects for you so that you get to learn and use these components and classes in real time. Today is episode number 39 and we are learning about Bootstrap Border. Before we get started, if you like my work and tutorials, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you in advance. All right, so bootstrap, we can use bootstrap utilities to add or remove an element's borders. We can choose a lot of, um, we can choose a lot of border classes that are available and we can play with them. Some of the important classes to remember are border, border has a different width that you can provide using border 2, border 3, border 4. We can also place certain borders only which is called adding, addictive, addictive, addictive uh, borders which is you can add it at a certain level or you can remove it like if you say that you don't want so you can say border top 0 that means it won't place it in the top. I'll show you all this when we start coding just for your understanding and classes to remember. We can add colors, border, hyphen, success, danger, info, warning, uh, primary, secondary, all that you can add. You can also add opacity to it. By default, it is 100%, but we can also make it to 75, 50, 25, or 10. Then we can also create a rounded corners in a particular element. It can be a div, span, image, anything. All right, so these are the important uh, utility classes that you should remember when you're working with border. That being said, let's get back to coding. All right, so I have a fairly s a simple template that we have been using for our bootstrap uh, tutorial and I'm going to start adding some classes. All right, so I'm going to create some div first and give a basic border, okay? Call it simple border, and save it. Um, let's save and go back here and refresh. There is a border, I don't know if you can clearly see it or not, but what I'm going to do is start with the color example that way it would be much much clear okay so i'm adding a primary color to the border okay so if you see there is a border now coming up and showing up in the color if you don't give this by default it's gray color slight gray and that i don't know if you are able to clearly see it here but if not i have added a color for you okay so that's about um, border hyphen primary so let's next add some more colors to it so sh to show you the different combinations you can do you can use primary secondary you can use info you can use success for a green color you can use danger for red and you can also use warning and finally you can use the default which is nothing but if you even if you don't give any border it's going to be the default okay let me just run this for you so you can see and I'm going to throw in a quick padding use based on what we have learned earlier you can just specify the padding using P2 this is part of the typography which I have covered earlier make sure that you learn that as well so this is with the beauty of it that you don't really have to add any um, really any um, CSS coding as such but M means margin so it's adding margin now just to make it more uh, look more spacing and much more clear for your understanding I'm just doing this you don't have to add it necessarily with a border but I'm adding an extra class so may to make it much look better okay so now see this is this is how it looks there is a default gray color border here so these are all the different color variations that you can use 
similarly let's say you want to use now increase the width of it right so you can add border hyphen 2 so now see it has become thick right similarly if you copy other right so you can copy 3 it will become even thicker you can go up to 4 and you can go up to 5 I'm still going to throw in some margin just so it's clear and much readable okay so you see the thickness has increased by default it is 1 this is 2 3 and 4 and 5 so you can add the thickness using the border hyphen the value it goes up to from 1 to 5 remember that this is about so we learned about how to use the border class we have used how to put colors we have used how to increase the thickness now I'm going to show you how you don't want a certain thing to be added okay when you put default border you would see that it's coming in all the directions now let me show you here if you just say border border all sides so see here there is a border on all the sides but you don't want on a certain side like say top bottom end and start so you can just say hyphen zero hyphen zero means don't add a border okay that's like minus add border on all the sides except here in this case it is top similarly if I copy this and say I don't want the border at the bottom I can just say bottom zero so now there won't be at the there is no border here for the bottom right no right I'm just adding so you differentiate so see there is no bottom for this similarly there is no top border for this so see there is no top border for the top one there is no bottom for the bottom one similarly if you say border start zero there won't be anything on this side on the left side similarly you can say border hyphen end hyphen zero that would become there won't be any border on the right side so this is how you can customize which sides you want to display and which sides you don't want to okay that being said the last variation that I'm going to show of borders is the rounded corners so you have a option to kind of you know um, show that how much rounded you want so I'm going to say rounded two. now let's see <coughs> a rounded border and I'm giving two okay let me take this out put primary so I'm just putting colors because the other uh, gray color is not really visible so now you see there is a slight curve at the bottom right I'm going to throw in an extra border just so that it's much more clear now you can see clearly that there is a slight curve at the bottom right so you can increase that by saying 3 I want it a little bit more curved so you can see it's now more turned four okay so up to three you can round but let's say you want it more right so rounded two now I want the entire thing to be rounded circle so you can say rounded right and you can say circle and I'm going to throw here color rounded circle let me clear this I think it's okay rounded circle and I'm going to give border to Oops. border and then okay so now you can see that there is a circle it has made let me change the color for you um, instead of warning let's use cir success so now you can see it's rounded right so that's another thing that's there and then there is something called rounded pill that you can use with border it will look like a pill see here so this is it let me add some spacing so that way it's clear to you all right now let's
let's go back and see so you can see here that this is circle rounded circle which is coming as a circle this is a pill so you see it has coming like a pill right at the borders you see it is radius you can configure right so these are the different variations of how you can use different border uh, utility class you can just add colors with simple border you can increase the thickness you can decide which uh, direction you don't want the border and you can minus that border from there you can even use rounded corners to make them rounded and you can make it circular or you can make it a pill right so these are all the different flavors and variations of how you can use the different classes and available as part of the border utility I hope it's clear I hope all the classes I have covered and that should help you use border directly uh, inside um, any any element it can be an image it can be a div or it can be a span that's all you need to know about bootstrap border utility class and its variants in the next episode we'll talk about bootstrap text utility class and see various different options that are available with us and I hope you are enjoying this series it's coming to a conclusion soon uh, if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash art tutorials and please do subscribe to my channel and keep supporting as always see you in the next episode thank you